Good morning, sweet friends. Today is August 4th, and we are going to jump into My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers. The Brave Friendship of God. He took the twelve aside, Luke 18, 31. I'm going to go ahead and read the whole verse here for you. This is uh, Jesus predicting his death. Verse 31. He took the twelve aside and told them, We are going up to Jerusalem, and everything that is written by the prophets about the Son of Man will be fulfilled. He will be handed over to the Gentiles. They will mock him, insult him, spit on him, flog him, and kill him. And on the third day, he will rise. So he's talking about his death, which he knew what was coming. Do you say, but he has been unwise to choose me because there is nothing good in me and I have no value? That is exactly why he chose you. As long as you think you are of no value to him, he cannot choose you because you have a purpose on your own to serve. But if you will allow him to take you to the end of your own self-sufficiency, then he can choose you to go with him to Jerusalem. And that will mean the fulfillment of purposes which he does not discuss with you. He's not going to tell you the future, right? You just have to trust him one day at a time. We tend to say that because a person has natural ability, that he'll make a good Christian. But it is not a matter of our equipment, but a matter of our poverty. Not of what we bring with us, but of what God puts into us. Not a matter of natural virtues, of strength, a character, or knowledge, or experience, all of that is of no avail in this concern. Interesting, isn't it, how he flips it? The only thing of value is being taken into the compelling purpose of God and being made his friend. See 1 Corinthians one twenty six. God's friendship is with people who know their poverty. Wow, and I have this part here, starred. This is really important. He can accomplish nothing with a person who thinks that he is of use to God. As Christians, we are not here for our own purpose at all. We are here for the purpose of God, and the two are not the same. We do not know what God's compelling purpose is, but whatever happens, we must maintain our relationship with Him. We must never allow anything to damage our relationship with God, but if something does damage it, we must take the time to make it right again. I've highlighted this next part. The most important aspect of Christianity is not the work that we do, but the relationship we maintain and the surrounding influence and qualities that are produced by that relationship. That is all God asks us to give our attention to. And that is the one thing that is continually under attack. Mm, that really spoke to me today. So often we think, um, you know, it's what we do for God that really matters. But here he's saying the relationship is what really matters. So I hope you just work on your relationship with God today and just ask him, Lord, what am I to do today? And he will make it very, very clear. But he does only do that one day at a time. He's not going to tell you what next week or next year will bring, which is probably a good thing because sometimes we don't want to know that far ahead, right? It might be a little scary, but just take each day at a time. Ask him, God, what can I do for you today? And maintain that relationship. That was a really good one for today. I hope you're blessed. Have a super day. See you tomorrow. You can order the My Utmost for His Highest devotional book by going to utmost.org. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. You can email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.